Hey, do you guys remember like a year ago where I asked if you would watch just a regular Byzantium video and then I didn't do anything about it for like a year? Yeah, so uh, here we are. Oh yeah, another thing, a lot of people have started using webcams in their videos, so for as long as I have avoided doing this, I guess maybe it's time for me to join the trend. Alright, here goes. As a fair warning, I haven't played Byzantium in, like, a really long time. I still somewhat remember the strategy I used beforehand, but if I end up making a few mistakes, then, ah well, it is what it is. I haven't watched an EU4 guide video in, like, three years, and I'm not gonna be bothered to start right now. So, do I actually remember this strategy? No, not really. Kinda just gonna play this by ear a little bit. Well, let's start off with the estates. That'll be expansionist zealotry, clerical ministers, religious state, supremacy over the crown, of course, increased levies, primacy of the nobility, oversight by the clergy, land of commerce, patronage of the arts, free enterprise, and yeah, I guess we can go with private trade fleets. Don't have anyone too great here. I guess I could go with like, morale of armies guy seems fine. I'm gonna go with the have a lot of allies kind of strategy. It's the one I used last time and it, you know, more or less works out. I probably won't rival anybody right now. There aren't very good rivals, and it's not like I could really use power projection right now anyway. And I'll also quickly just exploit Constantinople. Uh, maybe I'll build some more galleys too. I don't really want to spend points on a general, but I should probably have one. Plus, the king kind of sucks. Actually, the heir also sucks, so uh, let's just see who's better. You would think he's the king because, of course, he has an extra fire, but actually, the sun is a little bit better. Most of our damage is dealt through shock, so having that advantage in shock is a lot more helpful than having it in fire. Okay, let's go to war with Empress. I just noticed a big problem with fleets. Guess how many fleets are in the Ionian Sea right now? It looks like there's one hostile fleet, right? That looks pretty obvious. No, that's, <laughs> that's wrong. There's a second one. You can't even see it, but yeah, there are nine ships here. Cool, thank you very much, game. Hey, 350 admin, thank you very much. I just need this lucky siege, that's it. Just like, one, one siege tick, please. I beg. The Ottomans are fabricating on me. Please don't do this. Perfect. Beautiful. We're having a naval battle, but that's okay, because I'm just going to quickly peace out. I'll retake that core, make them into a vassal. All right, perfect. That's two vassals. Let's go ahead and make them a little bit happier. Plus, I'm going to rival the Ottomans. Apparently, we don't like the knights. Thank you very much, knights. That's cool. Uh, I kind of relied on having your navy, but I guess that's not going to happen. And the dude is dead. All right, cool. Yeah, it's a little bit earlier than I expected, but that's okay. Seems the only person I can have on my side against the Ottomans will be hungry, and even these guys can't actually fight them. They have a truce, after all. Oh, the Ottomans are on the move. Oh god, please. Doesn't look like they're gonna target me, though, so that's good. Okay, we're just on time to be able to ally the knights. We barely managed to squeeze into that threshold, even though they raided my coast. The Ottomans have a massive buildup. Look at that, 41,000 people. They're they're probably going to invade like Karaman or Kandar maybe, which would be an excellent opportunity for me to invade the Balkans. Okay, let's prepare for war. I'm gonna take out my loans right now, and my plan with the Ottomans is always to rush them down, so I'm gonna start off by hiring a few mercs. Call in Albania and the Knights. Hungary of course has a truce, but that's fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna rush down Galibalu because, you know, that's the straight crossing, so I might as well make that the war goal too. Alright, looking good. Albania only wants this province, which I'm probably not going to give to them. And the knights? The knights can just cry about it. So a fun little perk is that we actually gain access to barrages earlier than having artillery. We just need to use our ships. And yes, I am going every single day, reconsolidating these men just to be as efficient as possible. I feel like my chances would have been a lot better and I might not have had to do this if I managed to get the Mamluks as an ally. We got pretty close, we actually got to zero reasons, which is like, you could almost taste it at that point. But unfortunately, for some reason, they decided no, and that's, uh, well, it is what it is. I might actually disable this fort too. I mean, it's not like they can cross, right? So, I can save the tiniest little half docket there. Alright, that's Galibalu over, we're gonna move over here, do the same thing. Capital's a little bit easier, doesn't matter so much. Just going to quickly move over here, hit Barrage, and move back. Okay, I might have significantly overestimated the number of mercs I need. This group was barely even touched, and this one, yeah, not at all. Probably could have made do with far fewer men. Anyway, we'll get rid of this stack, that's fine. This guy's actually good at sieging, so we're gonna send them over to the capital. I could keep the free company. It is, of course, cheaper, but I don't really need it, so I'll probably just get rid of that. The Ottomans are pretty much done with their war over there, but of course they can't cross, and no one's giving them access around the Black Sea. I mean, that's a lot of countries. Of course no one's gonna let them through. You think Lithuania is going to let the Ottomans through? 
Yeah, definitely not. All right, with the Ottomans blockaded, their ships are forced into the Black Sea. In fact, they only have 14 ships left, which is, well, pretty much this. It means I can turn down my maintenance, let my troops go around and loot a little bit, get some extra money. The mercs can do their job just fine, and then, uh, well, we'll figure things out after that. The Ottomans appear to be losing uh, roughly 10 ducats a month, which is really good for us. Forcing them to maintain their army is probably a better idea than deleting it. If they could, I would like to stack wipe them a few times just to get some more war score and finish this sooner, but I guess we really don't have the chance to do that. I'm hoping to try and build up their war exhaustion so we can end this war sooner. Oh, thank you, Venice. I can use that to pay off some loans. Uh, it looks like Venice is currently invading my friend Albania. That's, uh, that's kind of a problem, actually. And Hungary's giving me a gift? Okay. This game is treating me way too nicely. That's one loan we have remaining, and you know what? I could probably just, like, give these provinces to my subjects. You know, wait for the Ottoman war exhaustion to take up too much for them to bring it back down. I think by that point, we can probably get something like, yeah, I don't know, 80 war score, which isn't that bad. Another benefit is that the Ottomans have started taking out loans. They actually now have more loans than I do. Oh, other dude just died. Okay. A new Basilius, not of the famed dynasty though, and that kind of sucks. But he's not bad in his own right. A 264. We're finally getting a call for peace, but I think I'm just gonna wait for this ticking war score to finish. I've just been making the rounds looting a bunch of stuff over here, which has been propping up the economy. And 81 war score looks like the best we're going to get. I don't think we can really get a better peace deal than this. It's all of my cores back except for this one, which is the capital. I mean, it's a free siege every single time, right? It would be crazy to give this away. I'll take this even though I didn't occupy it, that's fine. All right, that looks good to me. It gives us plenty of power projection. I'm gonna go ahead, rival... Naples, I guess. Sure. We have a little bit to core, but really it's not that much. So that gives us our perma claims in Bulgaria. We can turn everything into states, of course. Yeah, and of course my allies are not going to like me very much. That was part of the plan. I don't particularly care. We do have a looming disaster, though. Civil war. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, we have very little legitimacy. That nah, kind of makes sense. Well, I am focused on mill anyway. I guess I could fix that. Yeah, it's the alliance with Albania. They don't like me very much anymore. And that's alliance number two. Perfect. Now, that actually frees up a couple slots for me, because I'm thinking I'm going to vassalize Wallachia. Now that the Ottomans are no longer guaranteeing them, it should be relatively easy. Ooh, a new heir, 364, that's pretty good. Even though I'm pretty sure the skills of the parents don't influence the skill of the children at all, sometimes that confirmation bias kicks in a little bit too hard, I don't know. Anyways, let's go after Wallachia. And the Ottomans have sold the province to Serbia, what the hell, boy? Okay, new plan. I'm gonna go ahead and annex all of Wallachia. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get a claim right here, which I already have, and I'm very stupid. Let's not worry about that. I'm gonna release Wallachia as a vassal, and we're gonna go ahead and invade Serbia. Actually, maybe Serbia and Bosnia. Actually, what I should have done, what I was supposed to do, really, is uh, I was supposed to release the Bulgarian separatists. Not as a vassal, just like, provoke them. They were supposed to walk into Ottoman land, and I'm just a little bit dumb, so um, I'll get around to it eventually. Ooh, Hungary broke their alliance. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad, actually. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I might have done something stupid. Kind of depends on the next few days here. Okay, maybe not completely stupid. All right, that's the capital down. Now we can quickly go wipe these guys. Okay, that's pretty much going to be GG now that we've gotten the rebels to fire. That was part of the entire plan. Having these guys occupy the Ottomans is very important, but if I don't peace out, then the Ottomans are just going to walk into my territory and deal with them. I can't get too much out of this war. I'll fully annex Serbia, and maybe that'll be just about it. Practically zero coalition, so this is still fine. For the first reform, I'm a little bit torn between taking compromise with the nobility and the Noble Officer Corps. We do get a little bit more manpower. We are orthodox after all. You know what? Sure, I'll go with Noble Officer Corps. Damn, looks like the Ottomans somehow made it across. Actually, no, they literally just hired mercenaries. Wow. All right, well, there goes my plan, I guess. All this preparation, all this planning to landlock the Ottoman Balkan section, and they just hire mercenaries. Oh, it's because they have their own rebels to deal with. Damn it. Okay, maybe if we're lucky, they'll disband them. We have a little bit of time still. No, I don't think so. They're on the border already, so they're not going to give them up. Well, on the bright side, we can get a royal marriage with Austria. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, those separatists. Feels bad, man. Oh, we might actually have a second opportunity to try this out. The Ottomans are currently at war with the Mamluks, so I mean, if I just go ahead and ask these Bulgarian separatists to nicely rise up for me, the Ottomans are less likely to be able to stomp them this time. Ah, uh, wait a second, why do the Ottomans have mill access through me. That's not okay. Oh, I gave access to Karaman. Oh, I need to, I need to fix that. Really gotta fix that. 
Don't, don't do it, Ottomans. Ottomans, please just leave. Ottomans, please. I don't want to do this a third time. Oh, God. All right, guess we have to do it a third time. That's, that's cool. That's neat. I like that. Oh, hey, free province. Thanks, Genoa. It even comes with the Renaissance. Nice. The Renaissance has ended up in Constantinople after I dev it a tiny little bit. So I'm going to take out a few loans to embrace that. I'll take the first idea group, which is going to end up being offensive. And we're just about ready for the Ottoman War 2.0. A jam won't help them, which is good, but that wouldn't really make much of a difference and i'm still holding out to maybe get that bulgarian thing to happen we have a third opportunity with the rebels in this province and hopefully this time if i destroy the ottoman army hard enough and their economy the ottomans are only on tech 5 and i'm on tech 6 so i'm cautiously optimistic about this battle and it seems to be working out new plan to see if they're gonna take the bait looks like the answer is yes unless they just outroll everything that's that's cool i guess no crossing the penalty okay cool neat Neat, I like that. I like that a lot. Still, the bait worked out just fine in the end. And that's the stack wipe. Zero men. Rip. Perfect, now that we've taken Ankara, we can go back, deal with these guys over here. In fact, looks like they've done my job for me, thank you very much. Oh, you have to be kidding me. There's no way they're falling for it again. Oh, these poor guys. Okay, I'm almost done bullying the Ottomans. There goes the entire... Florentian? What even is the adjective for that? Florentine, that's what it is. There goes the whole Florentine navy. And rip. And there go the Ottomans at last. I still plan to use the Bulgarian Order 66, assuming that's actually even the correct reference. <laughs> I don't know, I don't watch Star Wars. So instead, I'm just gonna take the coastline down here for a mission, plus a whole lot of money and war reps. We've triumphed in the Asia Minor... <laughs> Words, damn it. We've triumphed for the Asia Minor coast, giving us a little bit of prestige and army tradition. Can't core quite everything, but uh, close enough. I can repay all of my loans. And now that the Ottomans are probably somewhere close to bankruptcy, I feel comfortable letting these Bulgarian separatists do their thing. Oh, look at that. We're great power now. Yes, yes, perfect. All according to plan. Hold on a second, wait. Wait, no, wait, hold on. Hormuz, please. You don't understand, Hormuz, how long I've waited. Damn it. Ah, uh, Florence is going to deal with them, aren't they? I can't get a break. I can't get anything. Okay, you know what? Uh, it might actually be a decent idea to let them through my land this time. Just so they can go anywhere else. Yes, good, good, please. No, no, no. No, guys, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now the Mamluks are gonna deal with them. Truly, the Mamluks would be able to understand the value of releasing Bulgaria, right? Surely they'd be able to understand why they shouldn't be doing that. I hate it here. Gee, thanks guys. I sure am happy you decided to fix things. Well, there's no point in being that upset about it. The next war with the Ottomans, I can just take it anyway. Anyway, I can expand infrastructure on this province after deving it a little bit, make that a little bit cheaper. So we now have an economy to rival that of England's or Venice. Uh, not bad, I would say. Let's go! <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but... I, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Uh, the Mamluks have released Bulgaria. Turns out, after all, they did understand the importance of an independent Bulgaria. Unfortunately, our understandings are not quite the same, and they're now guaranteeing them for the duration of the truce. A little bit of a shame, because the way I was going to do this was I was going to move into Bulgaria as soon as possible. Of course, the capital here has zero garrison, which would have made it a free siege and an instant victory within like a month. But now, of course, uh, we can't really do that. Do I really want to fight the Mamluks right now? I mean, kind of. Like, a little bit. I definitely have enough money to hire mercs if I have to. Alright, uh, yeah, sure, we can do it. I'm guessing the Mamluks probably also don't want to fight a war right now. Yeah, their military strength is quite a lot less than it used to be. So if we can just hold them off for a little bit, it's probably fine. So I'm kind of wondering, how bad of an idea is this really? I just hired a few mercs here. It looks like they're deciding to leave for some reason, I don't know. Well, it works for me. I guess I'll go wipe them then. RIP. Okay, I'm gonna take Justified Wars. I don't have too much aggressive expansion, but I plan on fixing that problem soon. Is that seriously three monarchs that we've lost in the past, like, f 30 years? Call me crazy, but that's gotta be super unlucky, right? That's a little bit more than usual, even for this game. Okay, better get this siege first, come on. Come on, don't do this to me, please. Okay, we're good. Just picked up Tech 7, we should be able to win this, no problem. Except tactics are fake and meaningless, I don't know. New Air 542, not bad. And my gold mine just depleted, of course it did. What kind of luck do you have to have for that? Hey, not bad. I know, I said I wasn't going to invade the Mamluks, but sometimes you get a little bit carried away, you know? I'll just quickly wipe their army before we leave. 
believe. I'm actually going to go ahead and release a subject here. Except, of course, I'm still at war. One second. Okay, we'll annex these guys. Conquered Bulgaria, giving us a couple of claims on Italy. At this point, it's probably worth invading Albania, taking this province from Genoa as well. Oh, that's a lot of people. Hold on a second. That's 15,000. I don't know where those came from, but I really don't want to fight them. Uh, it looks like Genoa's not looking so hot, which makes my life significantly easier. That's it for Theodoro, which I might actually decide to either vassalize or just keep for myself. It's not very good land, but it is orthodox and it is my culture group. And there goes Albania. All right, next is Bosnia. Uh, what just happened there? How's it, uh, how's it going? That's a little bit uncomfortable. You know, I was planning to attack Naples soon, but clearly that's no longer on the table. So what's next? We have a few more years until the truce with the Ottomans is up. I guess Venice is really the only good nation we could attack right now. Well, I did just finished building the navy, I'm sure we could probably take them on. I could even call in Austria, and that should probably deal with the rest of the Venetian navy. Okay, we just have to land on roads and siege it down. That'll allow us to get the knights out. Wait, I need 11,000 men here? Cultural manpower plus 25%. Oh, is that a garrison thing? Yeah, okay. And that's roads. GG. Somehow Austria has been pretty much losing to Venice. Now that we've started moving over it, that should probably be fine. Now Hungary's going to take everything from me. Thank you, Hungary. Very cool. I'm gonna cope by forcing Memmingen's religion. Alright, to be frank, I don't think we're gonna get much else out of this. That gives us some permaclaims over in the west, and some more permaclaims over in Dalmatia. Although it doesn't seem likely I'm actually going to grab these provinces. Oh yeah, and we have triumphed for Greece. A little bit more army tradition, and I think I'll get rid of this mercenary company. I'll replace it with some actual manpower. Now let's take a look at that thick Byzantine empire. We're not quite done though, we still have more Ottoman land to be taking, and I'm not sure if I want to go for this reconquest or just pure conquest. I could retake six cores here, but is that really worth much? It's probably fine to just go with a regular conquest. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about the Ottomans having allies. I was a little confused for a second, I'm like, how is this only half the war score? I've occupied the entire thing. Alright, Tunis, I actually do want to grab some sort of a foothold in here. How about we go for Sosa? Oh my god, it renames it to Sus. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, we're finally done with the Ottomans. I'm gonna block them off from anybody else taking their land. And hopefully next time we can just do a bit of reconquest and take the capital as well. And that should be it. Given the fact that this isn't going to be turned into a whole run, I might as well pop the golden era right now, right? In fact, I probably should have popped that earlier, but that's fine. At last, we finished off offensive ideas. And I'm starting to realize we're actually pretty close to just finishing Basilius. Now, I've already done Basilius, of course, but kind of goes to show how easy Byzantium really is these days. I say right before they buffed the Ottomans. There may or may not have been some influence in my decision to finish this video before the next update comes out. At last, we've converted Asia Minor, giving us a couple of claims over here? Really? All the way over there? 10 free patriarch authority. That's pretty good. Idea number two. I'd say it's probably a good idea to go with religious. There's a lot of stuff to convert, and now that we've taken most of the Orthodox land, it's kind of more of a problem than before. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Well, there isn't much left for me to do here except maybe... I don't know, invade these guys. We have money and manpower, but not a lot of admin to use on coring, so I'm probably just going to release Syria or something. Maybe I should have mentioned, yeah, I allied up with Castile because I figured if I can't beat him, then I might as well join him. Honestly, Mamluks have been a lot easier than I thought they would be. We started off with like 60,000 men, and I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit terrifying. But now it's like, wow, okay, this is actually really easy. Well then, I guess that's GG. I'll take these provinces over here, including Aquayonlu's remaining land. Actually, I could just take that, couldn't I? It's the same aggressive expansion either way, so... So, you know, I might as well. And for the rest, I'll be taking this coastline over here just so I can walk into Alexandria a little bit quicker. Also, full money war reps, Cyprus, and this stuff over here. Thank you very much. All right, let's release Syria. I wonder if I could send a missionary here first and then release Syria. Hmm. What does it take on the religion of the majority culture provinces? Well, time to experiment. Speaking of religion, I might as well take Defender of the Faith now. Oh yeah, looks like I can't even convert this. All right, fine. Austria wants my help against the Venice. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? You you know what, I'm actually probably fine without religious ideas for now. Gonna remove that, replace it with Diplo ideas. Now, Castile wants my help against Naples, which sucks because, you know, I kind of still need to invade Naples, but fine. Fine, fine, fine. Honestly, I've just been sitting around here waiting for the truce with the Ottomans to finish. Although, I really don't think they needed my help for this. We have more cavalry than they have infantry. There's the truce with the Otto boys. We should be able to finish them off. Oh, Castile just stopped allying me. Thanks, Castile. That's cool. That leaves us with the complete annexation of the Ottomans, giving some provinces over to my subject just to make it possible. Because otherwise, if I took all of this, that would cost us 
114%, which obviously we can't do. And that's the end of the Ottomans. That would give us a bunch of claims and stuff, but like this isn't that useful because, you know, kind of went around it, but that's fine because I think this is a good place to end off today's regular video as a normal Byzantium. Definitely not an achievement video in disguise. Anyway, we're sitting at number three great power. We make the most money other than Castile doing some weird stuff. I don't know where all this is coming from, but okay. Uh, we have the most morale, uh, more or less the most discipline. I mean, tied and kind of counts. Not quite the largest army, but definitely the largest force limit and probably most max manpower. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Uh, largest navy, that's for sure. And you know what? Byzantium, not really that hard. I remember back when I was maybe just a few hundred hours into this game, Byzantium seemed really daunting, but at this point it's like, yeah, this is just like a regular Wednesday. Anyway, for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. All patrons receive early access to videos, and a big thanks this month to Yo Gabriel McCoy, Ben Greenhagen, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Robert Kaleno, Ambient Cyan, James Levy, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, and Brova. With just one dollar, you can also get early access to videos, but if you're looking for anything else to watch right now, I'd recommend these videos up on screen.